Clark spins it from left to right. Jack Welshby comes into the line. Now Benison, Benison is close, but forced off with Red Devils conversion knocking down. Connie Hurrell in at play the ball. In at dummy half, the kick forward. Good bounce off the post, could be a try anyway. James Bell is the man claiming it. Yeah, Hankinson has not left his post quickly enough there. Be Salford go again. Well, not long ago, Saints were going forward. Now they're going backwards and now they've conceded as Dion Cross. Neon Dion scores again, his eighth try of the season. Directly from the top, Mella regulation back on the inside. And they're not putting anything on here, there's just a lot of good old-fashioned, you know, barging up the middle, trying to find a gap in this St. Helens defence, they haven't found one. Sneed, Sneed tries something a little bit more audacious, here he is again! Here he is again, you can set your watch by Dion Cross. Dion Cross doesn't have to do much other than catch and ground this ball. Delaney knocked down. They're very close to the line, central position here, nine metres or so away from the Salford line. There's Don, that's a great ball. It puts a try on a silver salmon for Curtis Sheridan. And St Helens level the scores. They kind of lost away a little bit mid-set, but then found the keys, didn't they, late on? There's the kick from Steve. What's he got here? It's got Don. It's picked up by Salford. Is this a try? Callum Watkins. Callum Watkins points to the sky, says, I've got four. Jack Smith says, yes, you have, Callum. Callum Watkins gets over in the corner. He's nearly been undone by his fullback, Chris he Hankinson. Has. I was going to say his toughest test was to hurdle the prone Chris Hankinson, wasn't it? Now, Mark Percival. The leading point scorer in the competition, but with a success rate of approaching 80% below Sneed, and we've seen Sneed miss kicks this afternoon. Can Mark Percival land this one to tie the scores? Paul Wellens looks on, looks anxious. Well, he might be, because Percival here, can he stroke this over from long range, longish range? Lewis Dodd with the cards in his hand. Coming in from fullback once more is Wellsby. And squirming through is Sirin, who got the third try. Still going, Curtis Sirin, off lows. This will be the try. Mark Percival! Well, now the video ref is coming into play to add to the drama here. Jack Smith, the referee, says to Chris Kendall, can you have a look at this? Is it a try? I think it is. Let's hear what Chris Kendall has to say here. Backwards off Wellsbeck. Touched by Watkins. It's then picked up by Sirenen. And we're going to run it through now. Okay, we're going to then run it through to the grounding. He's short there, but there's nobody on him, so he can re-promote the ball. And he then grounds the ball. I've made my decision. Well, has Mark Percival done it? Yes, he has! Sneed, you'd expect, was involved. And they do shift it out to this wing. And it's collected by McDonald, who offloads to Ryan. Can he bust the tackle? Can he run the ball? This is sensational. Hankinson, oh my! Salford hit by from way downtown. He was trying to improve the angle for Mark Sneed. It matters not. The scores are level. Well, it'll matter if he misses it. But I tell you what, all those players played their part. Can Mark Sneed here, the ace goal kicker, the ace in the pack of Super League's goal kickers, a man who very uncharacteristically has missed a couple this afternoon. Can normal programming be resumed from Mark Sneed and his famous left boot to edge Salford in front with time ticking away inside the final five? Or will he miss and will it be all square and we go back to drop goal drama again? Sneed, Sneed! Did you ever doubt the man?